What's up, what's up? Okay, um, this is going to be for the very beginning section of rather be the part with the staff, um, where I'm pretty sure it will be me and someone else, not sure yet, but this choreography is happening. Um, Hold up. Uh, yeah, the choreography is happening. Uh, it happens right after that introduction where we, everyone forms Voltron. Come down, up six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, uh, our choreo is going to start seven, eight. We're gonna hop on that to the right, to the left. And we're gonna lift our arms. We're gonna do like a little bit of a funky chicken. We're gonna go seven, Eight. Elbows down, elbows up. Just like boom, boom. Seven, eight. Super party moment. Now on this eight, it's actually going to initiate when we land back our foot. So it's going to go seven, eight. Um, and with that, our arms are going to release and it kind of like claw hands. Imagine you're holding a basketball if you can palm basketball. Um, and this foot is sweeping back. And we almost wanna put our chest into that. So what's gonna make that easier is having the slight plie, especially in that left supporting leg, to give us that breath. It's supposed to be seven, breathe. Let it breathe. And let that like throw to the arms. It's throw. So we're going to pop through. And now we're gonna go uh, one E and two, uh, one and two, three, four, five and six. Yeah, we're gonna go one and two. We're here eight. We're gonna swing our right leg through. So keeping this plie, this is where it's gonna come in handy. We're gonna go one and two. Um, and this foot is gonna like swing in and like carry this momentum with it to flip the body around. So the leg is coming in, through, flip. So it's like, boom. As it be easier, the faster it is, obviously. It's just swing. Use that momentum to flip. Well, at the same time, we're rolling our arms. And it's having this like rising feeling. We're bringing our arms back, roll it, roll it up. Because we just plie, and we're gonna work through that plie again. So just rise, one and two. And now we're gonna point three, point to that back wall, and we're digging that foot. Three, and now we're gonna make a circle and bring our left foot in at the same time. And that hand is coming up, circle. And to help with this, Really just imagine you're trying to create this 2D shape. Don't let this happen. Like don't let like your arm break out of the two dimension. So that's gonna take away from the line. Your line will be longer if you keep it under yourself as much as possible. So not this, but this. So we're here three and point down four. So we're here, three, we're just dragging our foot in and drop everything down, four. And we're dropping our head and we're like getting in the second position. So this isn't like super big, these feet. It isn't like a giant like position and then dragging it in. And it's not a giant like drop in because we don't have enough time. It's just dig back. So it's just dig back down. That's what you want. So you want to think sharp, get like smooth out of it, and then sharp. Picture, picture. So let's take it from the top. We just went five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four. From here, we're gonna do a little little bit a little bit of classic uh, uh, some footwork we're just gonna go 
kick and back. Just kick ball change. Okay, so what's happening is we're kicking with that right foot, putting our weight on that front foot, and then connecting the heel to the ground. So it's almost like you want to think heel off the ground, back, back. The emphasis is in like the kick for that initial part, back, and then you want to think about it's like about the weight coming back. That's what the emphasis is. So I think it's like kick and back. Kick and back. You see this like motion with my torso? Kick and back. Kick and back. That's what we want. At the same time, that's going five and six. We're gonna go flick our hands, flick our hands, flick our hands all the way down. So high, medium, low. Five and six. While at the same time, our feet are hitting five and six. So it's gonna go five and six, five and six. That's what we want, five and six. Uh, let's kick out one more time from the top and then we can add a, another good chunk on. Uh, we just went five, six, coming, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, and now from here, we're gonna put all of our weight onto our front foot, our right foot. We're gonna hop onto it. Five and six. And we're gonna hit and seven. We're going on and, so it's five and six. We're doing six. We go up and, creating the shape. We wanna have our elbows up and kind of just, we don't want to be like crazy jazz hands, but like think palms facing the back. And now at the same time, we're gonna hit seven and we're gonna hit that with our head too so we're hitting with our arms crossing seven our head's coming down seven and our foot is hitting seven so it's all gonna go seven so it's gonna go five and six and seven tempo would be five and six and seven that's what we want so we just went five and six and seven and this is gonna like react off this foot seven, and we're gonna kinda hop back on eight, making this shape. Eight, palms up. We're like, what? It's like, what's up arms? This is like a character mode where we have a moment to breathe because we have like this and count. Uh, since we just like popped off and went so fast with footwork, this is gonna feel like forever holding this. So it's gonna be five and six and seven, eight. We're here eight and since we have that and to get back and seven and eight kind of suspend yourself in the air and eight and have that like heaviness eight from here we're going to step out with our right foot yeah one and at the same time our arm is going into a beautiful fifth position make lots of negative space between your head and your hand while our left arm is going to cross out as far as it can and this arm is going to unfold out through transitioning the weight suit, suit new around and we're cutting that hip so it's out arm is reaching to second Cut the hip, and as we're turning, this left arm is folding and going up to fifth position too. And this ending position is like us, like we still have like this cut here, and we're looking over our left shoulder, and then we're gonna hear a ting in the music. This is when we release our hand, ting. And that's the end of that choreography for that first section. So let's take that back. We just went uh, five, six, seven, release eight, one and two, three and four, five and six and seven, eight, one, two, three. And then you wanna get here by the and, you wanna be able to have this moment to hold. So it's like, get here, three, hold, and, 
release four. We're releasing that hand thing. It's like an extra like lift in it. We're already like reaching so high with this hand because we have such good technique. And then we're releasing it even more. Whew. While at the same time looking over with that head because there's something going on in the background that's like catching our attention. So we're like, what's that? Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, let's mark that through again. And then we can do tempo. We just went five, six, seven, Eight, one and two, three and four, five and six and seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Tempo is going to look like five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six and seven. Eight, one, two, three, four. Forgot to do the head, but you get the idea. Let's try that one more time. We just went five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six and seven, eight, one, two, three and four. Ah. That's it. That's it for this section. Good job.